the contents. In this lesson one, the lesson is what's your name? Okay, and the contents are greetings and leave takings, names, introductions, the alphabet, and numbers from zero to ten. Okay, let's start. The greetings are divided into formal and informal. Formal greeting is, for example, with your co-workers. Okay, repeat please, co-workers. Perfect. And informal greetings is with your friends. Excellent, with your friends. Example here with your co-workers where, for example, in your office, okay, in your office. They, they are your co-workers in your office. And they are your friends, example, from the university, okay, from the university. Perfect. Now, what are these greetings? What are these greetings, okay? Greetings, saludos in Spanish. Well, we have two. Informal greetings, example, hello, pronunciation please, hello. And another we have, hi. Pronounce please, hi. Perfect. Both means in Spanish, hola. Next, continue with the formal greetings. The formal greetings, okay, example, good morning, pronunciation please, good morning. Yes, perfect. We say good morning from 6 a.m. to 11.59 a.m. Okay, from 6 a.m. to 11.59 a.m. We say good morning. One more time, good morning. Excellent. The another greeting is good afternoon. Pronunciation please, good afternoon. Perfect. Good afternoon, okay, we say from 12 p.m. to 5.59 p.m. Yes, from 12 p.m. to 5.59 p.m. One more time, repeat, good afternoon. Yes, excellent. Another greeting is good evening, good evening, good evening. Yes, perfect. When do we say good evening? We say good evening from 6 p.m. to 9.59 p.m. Okay, good evening. Yes, perfect. One more time, good evening. Uh-huh, excellent. Now, the opposite of greetings is leave takings. Okay, so the opposite of saludos is despedidas, leave takings. Perfect. For example, the most common is goodbye. Okay, pronunciation please, goodbye. Yes. Another common is see you, see you later. Pronounce please, see you later. Yes, perfect. Or another, see you. Okay, see you. See you, es un hasta luego, nos vemos, okay? See you later, es un hasta más tarde, okay? Next. Uh, the another leave taking, okay, is good night, okay? Pronunciation, please, good night. Yes, we say good night from 10 p.m., okay, from 10 p.m. to, well, we go to sleep, no? Yeah, we go to sleep. Good night. Perfect. Next, we continue with our names. Okay, with our names. Example of these names is Juan Carlos Soblita Saba. Okay, and between parentheses, you can see Juan. Okay, Juan is the first name. Pronunciation, please. First name. But in informal, in informal name, okay, in informal, we say only name, okay, name. So, Juan is the first name or Juan is only a name, okay. I can say my first name is Juan or my name is Juan, no problem, okay. Next, Carlos. 
Carlos is the middle name. Okay, pronunciation please, middle name. Perfect, okay. Next, Oblitas is the last name. Yes, the last name. In English, it's not considered the mother's name. Okay, Saba, in this case, the mother's name is not considered. But for important documentations, okay, yes, we have to consider both. Oblitas, Saba. That is the family name. Okay, pronunciation please, family name. Yes, family name is Oblitas, Saba. Yes? Correct. And full, okay, full is Juan Carlos Oblita Saba. That is your full name, okay? Pronunciation, please, full name. Aha, uh -huh, perfect. And between parentheses, you can see here Juanca, no? Juanca is the nickname. Why is the nickname? Because Juanca is the short, short name from Juan Carlos, no? Juan Carlos is complete. Um, it's a short, okay, Juanca. Juanca, do you do you think that is formal or informal? Juanca. No? Yes, it's correct. It's informal, no? In informal way because it's a nickname. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Now please pay attention to to this thing. In American English, we can say last name. Yes, last name. As you can see here, last name. But in British English, okay, a synonym of this, a synonym of last name is the surname, okay? Surname. Pronunciation, please, surname. Yes. So you, you can use whatever, no problem. Last name or surname. Yeah. Thank you. Correct. Now, we can see in this picture, okay, uh, two people, okay, a man, a woman, okay, he is Tyler and she is Sylvia, okay? In this case, they are shaking hands, no? They are shaking hands. In this shaking hands, okay, estrecharse las manos. Why? Because, in this case, they are in introduction. Introduction. Introduction means presentation in English, okay? So, let's see the introduction in a conversation. For example, he is Tyler, as I told you, and Tyler says, hi, my name is Tyler. Hi, my name is Tyler, okay? And Sylvia, okay, Sylvia says, nice to meet you, Tyler. Nice to meet you, Tyler. My name is Sylvia. Aha, uh -huh. okay. The phrase, nice to meet you, the phrase, nice to meet you, okay, that's why you say is mucho gusto. Right, okay, and oh, then the name, my name is Sylvia. Tyler says, it's nice to meet you too, Sylvia. Okay, it's the same phrase, nice to meet you, nice to meet you too. No? So does you say, okay, igualmente, okay, el gusto es mío, mucho gusto también. So that's the idea of these phrases, okay, nice to meet you too, Sylvia. Correct. Now you listen and practice, please, in your handout. Next, we have another conversation, okay, about these two people. In this case, let's talk about the feeling. What is what is a feeling or what are feelings? Well, for example, as you can see here, look at this. Aha, happy, no, happy face, right? An emoji, right? An emoji, an emoticon. <laughs> okay, next, another emoticon, yeah. Uh, do you think that these emojis or these emoticons, okay, uh, are positive or negative? Huh? Yes, it's correct, they are in positive. Yeah, they show positive faces. And look at this, mm, okay, look at this face, so oh, this emoji. Another one, this emoticon, oh, another one. They show negative, right? Negative, yes. No, negative, negative feeling. Negative feeling. And these two, positive feeling, yeah. So, to ask about it, okay, to ask about it, we're having a conversation. For example, 
Silvia, okay, Silvia says, hi, Tyler. Hi, Tyler. How are you? How are you? Pronunciation, please. How are you? This question, how are you, okay, is um, used to ask about a feeling. Para preguntar, ¿cómo estás? ¿Cómo te va? Okay. And Tyler, okay, Tyler ask, uh, I'm okay. How about you? In this case, okay is positive or is negative? Hmm? What do you say? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay is positive. Yeah, it's positive. Yeah. In this case, this face, this emoji, this emoticon shows okay. Uh -huh. I'm okay. Excellent. And how about you? How about you? It's another synonym. Okay, question to how are you? ¿Y tú qué tal? How about you? Yes. And Sylvia, uh, look at look at her face, right? Okay, she says, I'm great. I'm great. Thanks. Okay. Great in this case. Aha. Uh -huh. Great shows this, this emoji, this emoticon. Great. Genial. Right. Great. Uh -huh. Thanks. So we have these questions. Look at this. Yes. The questions to ask about feelings. We have two. How are you? And how about you? Repeat, please. How are you? How about you? Perfect. Look at the answers. Answers about feelings in positive. I'm fine. Thank you. I'm fine. Thank you. Another is, I'm okay. I'm great. Thanks. And answers about feelings in negative. Okay, negative. Mm, not so good. Mm, I'm not okay. I'm not okay. Right? Okay. Now, listen and practice, okay, this conversation. And let's continue with the English alphabet, okay? Let's continue with the English alphabet. For example, here, okay, let's pronounce. Come on with me. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Next, H, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, T. Yes, excellent. Now you listen and repeat one, two, three, four, five times, okay? The use of this English alphabet, okay, is this. We use the English alphabet to spell names, spell objects, or spell emails. What is the, what is the idea of a spell? A spell is to say one by one. For example, A, B, C, P, Q, R. That is a spell, okay? Spell. So, to say one by one, decir uno por uno. That's the idea of a spell. Yes? Perfect. Spell names or spell objects or emails. Let's see. Look at this picture. Okay. In this case, the woman Ask this, how do you spell your surname? How do you spell your surname? Remember, surname is synonym or similar to last name, right? And he says, it's Benedetti. It's Benedetti. Aha, Benedetti. Let's spell. B, E, N, E. D, E, T, T, I. Aha. Uh -huh. In this case, we say, no? it's possible to say T, T, like here, or 
another possibility is to say double, double T. Uh -huh. So let's say B, E, N, E, D, E, double T, I. Yes, perfect. Uh -huh. And another, another use, remember, is to spell uh, emails and spell objects, right? So let's see. Before, before using for emails, it's necessary to know the cyber symbols, okay? Cyber symbols, such as at, okay? At, the symbol, the symbol here, we pronounce at, okay? Pronounce please, at, another, dot, okay? Dot, dot, the symbol, underscore, underscore, the symbol hash, hash, and the symbol dash, dash. Yes, correct. Now let's see here. Great, and what's your email address? What's your email address? Okay, and he says, it's Mario dot benedetti at hotmail dot com mm -hmm. that is that we say our email address okay now you have to listen and practice now let's continue with the numbers from zero to ten the first number okay is zero okay zero but also okay for phone numbers we say o okay o so we have to come on pronounce please zero o yes that is correct both of them okay that is the most used o but it's but it's also good to say zero no problem come on check it out one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, correct. One more time, please. Zero, oh, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now let's make the use for phone numbers. It is a cell cell phone. It is a cell phone, yes. For example, the question, what's your cell phone number? What's your cell phone number? And the answer, it's 906 three seven seven two one five yes that is our cell phone number and what about this this is a home number right a home phone no a home phone number yes a home phone home phone home phone this is a cell phone cell phone home phone yes our question is what's your home phone number What's your home phone number? It's 5603995. Yes. Uh -huh. Let's see this vocabulary in action. When we say my name is, another possibility is to say I'm. Okay? Come on, repeat please. I'm. My name is, mm -hmm. you have two possibilities, okay? Two possibilities, no problem, whatever. Example, my name is Giovanna or I'm Giovanna. Yes, it's possible to say both are correct. Look at this, for example, the question, hi, my name is Peter. What's your name? And the woman says, 
hi, my name is Angie. Okay, hi, my name is Angie. Hello, I'm Lorena. Hello, I'm Lorena. Next, hello, I'm George. And finally, hi, my name is Anne. Nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can see this use of all the greetings, all the introductions, okay, all the leave takings here, okay, in this vocabulary action. Another vocabulary action, number two, is this. Alex, this is Karina. Alex, this is Karina. When we say this is, okay, this is, uh, is similar to an introduction for another person, in this case, Karina. This is an introduction for another person. So when you say this is, okay, it means te presento a, okay? So Alex, this is Karina, okay? Alex, te presento a Karina, right. And Karina, okay, she says, okay? And Alex, okay, Alex says, nice to meet you, Karina. Nice to meet you, Karina. And Karina answers, Hi, Alex. Nice to meet you, too. Hi, Alex. Nice to meet you, too. And they shake. No? They shake hands. No? They shake hands. Okay. Now you practice, please, at home. Now, we practice. Yes. For example, in this case, we have H-E. Hey, hey, hey. What's the idea to complete? What's missing? Hey, hey, hello. Yes, hello. Mm -hmm. Another, let's complete the phrase. Mm -hmm. D, mm -mm, D, M. What do you say? Good morning. Yes, good morning. Finally, my Z P N is I don't know. Come on, you tell me. My cell phone number is yes, that is correct. My cell phone number is perfect. You're intelligent. Let's continue. Look at these photos and how do you say these letters? For example. The picture number one, huh? M T V. And what is the pronunciation? M T V. Aha, uh -huh, correct. Number two, how do you say? C N N. Look at the pronunciation. C N N. Aha. Uh -huh. Number three. F B I, uh -huh. F B I, yes. Four. B B C. Look at the pronunciation. B B C. Okay, so that's the end. Okay, that's the end of our lesson. And now you have to go to your workbook and solve the exercises about lesson one. Thank you so much. See you next lesson.